old saying says that children are as innocent as angels. However, this saying strongly contradicts with these six kids who earned the title murderer at such a young age. Number 1. Mary Bell On May 1968, the day before her big birthday bash, Mary Flora Bell, a 10-year-old, strangled to death a 4-year-old boy named Martin Brown. A few days later, she and her 13-year-old friend, Norma Joyce Bell, broke into an orphanage and went on a rampage. The orphanage was completely vandalized. On top of that, Mary and Norma left notes lying around claiming responsibility for the killing. However, the police dismissed it as a joke. A month later, on June 25, 1968, the pair abducted and murdered a three-year-old boy named Brian Howe, who after strangling him, threw him in a wasteland. A few days later, Mary returned and engraved a letter M onto the boy's stomach and mutilated his body. She was given 11 years of imprisonment and was freed at the age of 23. Number 2. Barry Dale Lucaitis On February 1996, a 15-year-old boy named Barry Dale Lucaitis walked into his algebra classroom clothed as a Wild West gunslinger. He opened fire on his classmates and teacher while shouting, This sure beats the hell out of algebra, doesn't it? Two of his classmates were killed alongside his teacher. His gym teacher was taken as hostage, who then wrestled the gun out of Barry's hand and restrained him until the police arrived. He is now serving a life sentence. Number 3. Jess Pomeroy In 1871, at the age of 11, Jess Pomeroy captured and tortured four younger boys. The torture was severe and brutal that most of his victims have been physically scarred for life. Fortunately, he was captured and sent to a reform school. His official sentence was for 10 years. However, he was let out only after a year and a half due to good behavior. Unfortunately, this good behavior was a veil that covered his true self. At the age of 14, he murdered a little girl and stashed her body at the basement of his mother's dress shop. A few days later, he killed and mutilated a four-year-old boy in such a gruesome way that he almost decapitated him. When the police asked him if he killed the boy, he responded with a cold heart, I suppose I did. He was sentenced to a life imprisonment in solitary confinement. Number 4. Robert Thompson and John Venable In 1993, Robert Thompson and John Venable, both at the age of 10, kidnapped a three-year-old boy walking with his mother at the mall. Two boys tortured the youngster in unthinkable ways, ranging from beating him to bashing him on the head with bricks. After killing the boy, Robert and John tied him on a set of train tracks to be saw in half. Cause of death of the three-year-old boy is still unknown as the body had too many injuries. Two boys were then convicted for eight years in prison. Number 5. Eric Smith In the same year of 1993, Eric Smith, a 13-year-old, violently killed a 4-year-old by the name of Derek Robbie. The boy was walking home from his recreation program when Eric dragged him into the woods. He beat the 4-year-old to his death before mutilating and abusing his body. Eric is now serving a lifetime imprisonment. The creepiest cut of the story is that people who interviewed him said that they could not believe they were talking to a murderer as he appeared to be so natural and ordinary. Number 6. Jasmine Richardson At 12 years of age, Jasmine Richardson was convicted of first-degree murder of her 8-year-old brother and her parents. Her story was that her parents forbid her to see her 23-year-old boyfriend, who then encouraged her to perform this horrific act. In 2006, 
her boyfriend went over to her house and killed both of her parents who were downstairs. He then called Jasmine up to her 8-year-old brother's room and made her stab him on the chest. They both fled to a nearby town but were soon caught by the police. Jasmine is now finishing up her sentence in a mental institution while her boyfriend is now serving three parallel life sentences. Number 7. Alyssa Bohtamante In 2009, Alyssa Bohtamante killed her 9-year-old neighbor because she wanted to know what it felt like to kill someone. The 9-year-old neighbor, named Elizabeth Olton, was lured into the woods thinking that she was going to play with Alyssa's little sister. After brutally attacking her and strangling her to death, she dug up a shallow grave and dumped her body inside. Alyssa then wrote in her diary, I just f killed someone. I strangled them and slit their throats and stabbed them. Now they're dead. I don't know how to feel at the moment. It was amazing. As soon as you get over the oh my god, I can't do this feeling, it's pretty enjoyable. I'm kind of nervous and shaky though right now. Kay, gotta go to church now. Lol. Alyssa then confessed to digging up two graves, which asserts that her twin brothers were her primary objective. She is now serving a life sentence.